Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to calculate subtotal in Excel. Subtotal is a function in Excel that helps you to calculate the average, sum, product, and other functions for the elements in the table. In this article, I will show you how to use the subtotal function in Excel in two methods. First, let us see how to use the subtotal function from the main menu. Select the cells of the table. Right click and select sort. You can select ascending or descending depending on your preference. Once the changed values are grouped together, we can now calculate the subtotal. Navigate to data. Under outline, click on subtotal. This opens up a new subtotal dialog box. In the at each change in dropdown, Select the option which you have grouped together or categorized in the rows. This is where the subtotal function performs on similar data. The second option is the use function. We know that the subtotal function houses a variety of operations like sum, count, average, product, etc. You can choose your preferred operation from the dropdown. Finally, in the add subtotal to dropdown. Select the column you want to function the act on. Now click OK. This gives you the subtotal and the grand total for the selected value. While projecting data, you might not want an extensive report containing all the elements. In such cases, you can use the 1, 2, 3 buttons or plus minus symbols to show or hide the data. Another way to arrive at subtotal in Excel is by using a formula. Enter the formula in the destination cell. Once you enter the formula, Excel automatically shows the suggestions for the operations that you want to perform on the data. From the dropdown, double click or select the preferred function and press the tab key. This adds the function argument you want to perform on the data while entering the operating parameter for the subtotal formula. You might wonder why there are two sets of operations with the same name. The first set of operations, 1 through 11, is used to calculate the values presented in the table even if they are visible or hidden. The second set of operations, 101 through 111, is used to calculate any visible values. They ignore the values that have been hidden manually. Now for the range argument. You can either enter the range or select the range and it will get populated. Press enter. This gives you the subtotal of the data in the table. That is all everyone. In this video we saw how to calculate subtotal in Excel using two easy methods. If you have any queries please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. We are always here to help you. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.